Hello? What? What? The body, the river, the banks. I'll transfer you. Sheriff here. Whoa, hey, Jerry. Slow down. What's going on? This is all, this is, it's all wrong. The river, she's there. Rosa. Smart. Rosa? She was there on the banks, Sheriff. Rosa. Rosa Luxemburg. I'll be right there. Diane, it's 4 p.m. on a Monday afternoon. It's quite cold in these parts. I must confess, I feel a bit ill at ease here. It's the nature of the crime that concerns me. Who was Rosa Luxemburg? What made her so dangerous? And who's the monster responsible for all this? Are you the one they call Dale Cooper? I am. I respect your line of work very much, sir. What do you mean? The FBI, the tendrils of the Leviathan. I don't know if that's such a... Without you, without the Sovereign, life is nasty, brutish, and short. A state of nature, neighbor against neighbor, cannibals in the streets of Banco. Did you ever meet her? Who? Rosa. No! Tell me more! What do you know? It could have been man in his state of nature, the savage state, or it could have been the Sovereign she sought to topple. I said too much. I must be off. I'm telling you, Rosa being gone is the best thing that ever happened to the people. It's spreading all her revolution everywhere. She's dangerous, pal. Let me tell you, if I'd have followed her, you know where I'd be right now? I'd be in the gulag eating my gruel. You know where I get to be now? In the, in the bar with my pals. I'm gonna be there. But you know what, you rat bastard? You come in here, and Rose is not even in the ground yet, and you're talking all this capitalism and freedom, and I say, freedom to choose? Freedom to choose what? I've been working in the brewing industry for the past 15 years, and I still only make starvation wages. I was thinking about it the other night. I calculated that I even made that company about two million marks worth of value. And you know what? I don't even got two pennies to rub together at the end of the night. I think Rosa was my savior. She was all of our saviors. Come on, she's no savior. Nobody's savior here. Yeah, sure. Sure, you made less than you produced. But think of the whole thing. Think of how many people an operation like this requires. Think of 
of all the people involved. God, you got you got people growing wheat. You got people cutting wheat. You got people growing wood, cutting wood, and making them into kegs and bringing them here. You. you got children making the twine to tie it all up. Man, everyone deserves their fair share. And you, you just come in here every night and you spend your measly sum on suds. But you know what? Man? That's it. No, you're talking about all these people working, working together. But how many of those people are exploited laborers in far off lands that you don't have to think about with their infant economies? Those people weren't ready for capitalism. And you know what, Milton? Look at me. Look me in the eyes. You forced them into it. You forced them for your gain at their cost. All in the name of this machine. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. You know it. The free market is your friend, man. The free market is your friend. You know what, Milton? And those people, the free market was the best thing that ever happened to them. Best thing. Throughout this conversation, you started getting me thinking. It sort of sounds like you might have even killed her yourself. Get over there, Milton. Who the hell was that small man? That was Milton Friedman. He comes in here all the time asking about prices and looking at the taps and talking about freedom of choice. It's all a bunch of money.